I've got a really cute card here with this fun new flower. This is uh, one of our new dies called the fold over flower die. So I thought I'd just create an entire card to show off my flower. How's that? Really like the way this one came out. I'll show you all the different dies we'll be using for today's card. I've got from our striplet collection, the stacked diamond striplet. Isn't that pretty? Here's the star of the show. This is the new fold over flower. And we've got a little um, example there to show you on the front of the packaging. We're also going to be using the uh, Montreal die from the Canadian collection and the background from our Portuguese collection. And the finishing touches, we have the dandelion clocks today. And the stamp set, um, the stamps I'm going to be using are from the Heartfelt Sentiment set. This is a, um, a gray rubber A5 stamp set from Creative Expressions. Now, the very first thing I want to show you is I've already gone ahead and cut the Portuguese background in some white card. So in my usual style, I have to cut it up because that's what you do. You know, your dyes are all about changing them and nipping into them and making them do other things that they aren't necessarily there to do, um, or at least don't look like they should do. So first thing is I'm going to cut this right down the center with a little paper cutter. I'm going to put the ends together. Now this is where I would ordinarily uh, square this up and make sure that my um, outside edge is exactly even because the dies don't have a cutting edge on them. So you can create whatever size border you want. Um, I've already got one prepared, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But if you were um, doing it from scratch there, then I would um, cut those all even. And I'm going to just nip out this little bump part of the die them all on top of each other, line them up so they're nice and even on my paper cutter. There we go. Trim that out. So I've basically taken out, oh, about an inch and a half between the two pieces there to shorten that up. So I'm going to glue that back together or tape that back together to create a little bit more of a square unit like that. Okay. So I went ahead and I've done that. And I've matted it with some um, purple card, some lavender card here to create the, um, the background coming through. I've got a little bit of mounting foam on the back. Now, just to kind of, um, oh, dress up the edges a little bit, I went ahead and cut two of the stacked diamond striplets, okay? And I'm just going to have them kind of peeking out from underneath here. So I've got a little bit of mounting foam. I'm just going to lay that right, catching down the center there on that side. Take this one off. We'll catch that one in just about the same spot. Try and get them as even as possible. And they just come out a little bit top and bottom. I really like the way that looks. It's kind of different. So I've created a, um, a backing piece here. So we're going to go ahead and get everything put together. A little bit of piercing around the edge that I usually do. And I'm raising it for dimension. I've got some pearls in those corners there. And we'll go ahead and add that right in the middle. Now I think I'll just put a little extra glue on here to kind of hold that in place nice and strong. And get that as straight as I possibly can. That looks pretty good there. So I've got the base of the card already sorted there. Now you've got that cut line going across the middle and I've hidden on the edge with a couple of pearls, but we're going to put our sentiment in the center to cover that some more. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out the Montreal. I've backed it, um, I've cut it out of the lavender, backed it with the white and cut it into a frame and I've taken and put some mounting foam on the back. Stamp my sentiment here, but because there's a fairly large opening, what I think I'll do is bring in a little bit of color. So I've got some Dusty Concord uh, Distress Ink here in one of our smoothies. And let me just bring over a little piece of um, paper I can use to tap it off on. We're just going to bring in a little bit of color all the way around that edge. Just blend it out. And I'm going to do a kind of a quick job. I would probably spend a little bit more time blending it through 
and really getting a nice soft finish on it. There we go. And a little bit into the sentiment itself, just to bring in a tiny bit of color there. There you go. Now the Distress Inks stay wet a bit longer. They have a long open time on them. So just to kind of doll it up a little bit, I'm going to use some of the Cosmic Shimmer Pearlescent Mica over that. There we go. Just to give it a really light shimmer to the edge there. Got a tiny little dusting brush here and that will just pick up the, the wetness from that ink and attach that. There we go. Really, really nice and pretty like that. Put that to the side. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off the backing on my mounting foam. And because I've got that mica and that ink on there, I definitely wanna make sure that I add some glue to that to make sure it's really nice and adhered to it. So pop that on top of there. There we go. Okay, center that right over my sentiment. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now I'm gonna give that a second to really set up so it's nice and dry and then we'll trim, trim away the excess. So I'll go on to my flower. So I've got a piece of white felt here and we'll use the larger of the fold over dies with it. Pop that into place. And generally because felt's got a little bit of tooth to it, you don't often need to tape that. Just be careful putting it through. And your felt needs to have a wool content so it'll cut with the dye really easily. Okay. You can see that cuts just like butter. Okay. So basically, what you have are the slits cut in the middle there. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on either side of this. There we go. And I'm going to just fold this over. Now usually what I'll do is I'll put a, um, a die in the middle, or um, excuse me, a, um, an acrylic block. But since I don't have one handy, I'll just see if I can hold that in place with my die just to get it set up. There we go. I'll use this little guy for the other side. And then we'll go back over and do this one here. Get that right along there. And let's see if I can hold that. Just give it a second. In fact, while that's gluing, I'll see if I can take the, um, the extra bit off of this. Just trim around the outside here. There we go, oops. All the way around the edge. So you've got a really pretty framed um, sentiment there. And let's see if we can just glue that into place. See how this one's doing. Oh yeah, we're getting there, okay. We'll go ahead and put this one into place and then come back to our flower. Sometimes you have to bounce around a little bit when you work. Okay, so that will sit right in the middle there. So that covers that, um, that cut line that was going across. Okay, so now I've got that folded over. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more glue down the edge here. And you wanna be careful not to get it onto the top of the flower. Even though it dries clear, when uh, glue hits felt, it turns hard so you can see it. So be very careful there. Okay, tiny little bit. So next, we're just going to roll it. Just try and roll it towards you. Keeping that glue right at the bottom there. There we go. Maybe you can see that a little better now.
And you can make this short if you like. You can trim it at any point, or you can add on to it and make it longer if you want. I'm gonna give that a second just to set up. Hold that nice and tight there. So you can see how pretty this is going to be. Just forms a perfect little flower there for you. Just love the way that looks. So let's bring our um, card back. I've got a little bit of tool here. In my mess of pile of um, things here. I'm such a messy crafter. So I'm going to put my tool on first and we'll pop this down to the side like this. Just like that. I've got a little bow of um, baker's twine here that I've tied. And I'm going to take a couple of glue dots, put them onto the back here. It is a little difficult to get them to stick to the felt, so I usually will seat it and then use a little bit of glue underneath to really hold it into place. And my little dandelion clocks, these are just so cute. I'm going to pop them into place with some of the uh, Cosmic Shimmer glue coming out from the top there. I'll trim this one off just a tiny bit. And you can even bring these up. You could put a little bit of glue on the tips of them if you like. They're just so cute. There we go. Put this one underneath, I think. Kind of sticking out from behind. And like I said, I'm just going to seat that with a tiny bit more glue so it really dries securely into place. And how cute is that? Really like the way that looks. I just think that makes such an elegant flower. So there you have it, a really quick and easy card, and I think anybody that you gave this to would just love to receive it.